networking, live action, choose your own adventure, role playing game, networking. A huge part of networking is first impressions. And another word for a first impression is judging. And we judge ourselves and each other constantly. In fact, you're all doing it right now. I'm at a networking event about two weeks ago, a speed networking event, which is basically just like speed judging. And as this man comes up to sit in front of me, I instantly judge his face. I judge the way that he walks. I judge what he's wearing. I even judge the way that he sits down. And my jury comes in. This guy, cop, smiles at me. He says, hi, my name is Sam. I'm a financial planner. What do you do? And I do in that moment what all of us do when somebody says they're a financial planner. I instantly think, I already got one of those. Ugh, how long is this conversation going to take? Wait, where's my wallet? What do you do? It's such a vocational question, right? I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm in real estate, jobs, jobs, jobs. We hear an NSA like to ask each other the sophisticated question, what do you speak to? Leadership, diversity, equity, inclusion, mindset, storytelling, jobs, jobs, jobs. They're what's. And if we've learned anything from Simon Sinek, it is simply this. People don't buy what you do. They buy why you do what you do. And within that why is a story, your story. That's what people need to hear. So when Sam asked me that question, what do you do? I was like, hold on a second, Sam. Why are you a financial planner? I love telling this story. You see, I used to be a cop. <laughs> do it! <laughs> do it! <laughs> and he proceeds to regale me with that as a police officer is very frustrated because they get called to a lot of domestic disputes. And the number one reason why somebody gets called to a domestic dispute, a lack of money. And one day while he was sitting with his financial planner, he had an aha moment. He said, wait a second. As a police officer, I've shown up the damage is already done. I need to become a financial planner. So he's like, I studied, I became a certified financial planner, and I left the police force. And now I help people. Now what do you know about Sam? He's likable. Right? He told me this story one time. He's memorable. And most importantly, listen to me, speakers. He's referable. Because when we're in that networking environment and that person is standing before us, it's not just that we're trying to make a connection with them. Because when we're likable, memorable, and referable, we have a chance to make a connection with their entire network. That's what this is all about. So you might be asking yourself, well, how do I bring this kind of a story into a networking event? Let's, let's do a little role play, shall we? I'll be Sam. You can be the person that I'm meeting at a network event. So, so ask me, ask me, ask me, what do you, what do you do? Thank you so much for that question. What do I do? Do you know the number one reason why police are called to a domestic dispute? It's actually because of lack of money. And when I was a police officer, I was incredibly frustrated. So I left the police force as a certified financial planner. Now I teach financial literacy. I give people financial freedom. I ensure that the people that I work with Never need to call the police based on domestic dispute over a lack of money. That's how this works. And you all have your Sam story. The next time you find yourself in one of those live action, choose your own adventure, role playing games called judge working. <laughs> <laughs> Let the first impression that somebody else has of you be in judgment of why you do what you do.